Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, has your car ever been in a flood-like situation where you've driven the car in, in a flooded street where the water levels were literally till here? Well, in this video, I am going to be uh, informing you about the different uh, signs that you should look out for in your car if there is any water-related damage to your car. But before we move forward, I apologize for the dirty car because it's just rained two days back and I haven't had time to just get this car washed. But then making this video was more important than getting this car washed. Now, before we move forward, please consider subscribing to my channel and also make sure to press the bell icon so that you never miss any video notifications from my channel so the first point is to check the electronic control unit and all the electrical bits like your headlights tail lights your aircon your your various different bits like the relays the fuse box and all of those wiring systems make sure you check all of them because electronic control unit is something which is uh, the the brain of the car and without that the car wouldn't function as well and also it's a very expensive part because if that goes wrong then you are seeing at at a part the cost of the part is enormous so make sure you you just dry this the the, the, the ecu out and if there is anywhere uh, water standing even near it then also make sure to remove that water because the ecu is a very sensitive part and it's got it's got um uh, uh, it, it gets affected even by the static as well so uh, uh, keeping the, it dry is very crucial because a car like this this BMW has a lot of complicated electronic bits so you have to really make sure that none of the, the, the parts are being affected by the water the next point is the damage to the engine now how can the the engine get damaged you may wonder is that when you go uh, on, on a flooded street the water basically enters through the intake which is here and also through the exhaust pipes and then the water reaches into the cylinder now the the engines are basically meant to work on the on fuel and also the uh, the oxygen which is just air and when the water enters into the cylinder the the engine will try to compress water now since it is liquid the liquid won't get compressed and because of the compression of the water you the 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 various uh, bits like the cranks and the pistons may get stressed out because of compressing the water and as a result of that they may break and as a result of that this will be a very expensive fix the next point is to keep an eye on the formation of the mold and the mildew now that is because that the mold and the mildews once they start it's a kind of fungus by the way so once it starts forming inside the car as a result of the water which is standing still inside the car or if, if the water enters inside the car and makes your carpets which is what you can see in my car as well it's lined up with uh, with uh, ca ca carpet all around and also on some of the cars where the doors are also made out of fabric so as a result of that the water uh, it makes the whole interiors wet as well and as a result the the mold and uh, mildew formation start happening inside the car and then you start having health issues as well now to find out if there is a mold and mildew formation inside your car all you have to do is just detect a, a, a mustard kind of smell which might come inside the car and that is uh, pretty much uh, 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 a sign that you know the the mold and the mild use have started uh, forming uh, in the car itself now if you want to detect these things or if you want to avoid do, going through all of that then make sure you remove the carpets and also the seats if you have a fabric seat and make sure you dry them out and then put them back because these components are replaceable but apart from that even make sure to keep an eye on the headliner and also the door cards and also the trunk and various bits which are being affected by the water and also make sure not to leave the water stand still in the car for a long time as it will just help the the mold and the mildew to just start building up more rapidly the next thing to watch out for is the formation of mud and debris under the car and in surfaces where you cannot see or hard to reach areas which are like the engine compartment and also the fenders and also the gap the wheels and the brakes the gaps between the panels like the trunk 
the bonnet and the doors the underbody of the car as a result of the mud and the debris the the normal functioning of the components and the assemblies may hamper and as a result of that over time you may end up damaging them the next point and a very important point to remember is the formation of rust now the rust is the biggest enemy of a car that can happen so whenever the car has been into a flooded uh, uh, area then it takes the rust a little while or sometimes even months or sometimes even years for it to start forming on the body panel so you have to make sure that you get the rust treatment done and also keep an eye on different areas like the bolts where the body meets the the different bodies meet each other using a bolt and also the the engine mounts and and also the fuel tank and also the chassis itself because once the the, the rust starts reaching the chassis itself it can structurally damage the car itself as well so make sure to keep an eye on the rust and also all the components that can be affected by the rust so another problem that might occur are the slippery brakes now because the, because the car goes into a flooded street what happens is the brake pads and the water gets into the brake rotors as well and as a result of that the functioning of the brake itself gets hampered and also on a lot of occasions even the the abs sensors tend to get damaged because of the water so make sure to keep an eye out on that as well so after the car has been into a flooded area so make sure for a week to two weeks at least before you start your journey make sure to dab the brake pedals a little and check the feel of the brakes if you feel that the brakes are a little loose or a little slippery then make sure to check the get them the checked by a professional mechanic the last point to check for is the contaminated fluids now water will of course enter into different fluids as well and may end up even affecting the performance like the brakes where the brake fluid is used and also if you have older cars where they have hydraulic steering then even the 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 hydraulic of uh, the the oil that is used for uh, working of the hydraulic pumps even in that there will be water that will seep into that and also the gearbox oil and also the transmission oil and everywhere even the radiator coolant that may get uh, affected by the water so make sure to check all these uh, uh, fluids out as well and if you find any spots of water in that then make sure to get them changed uh, again by a professional mechanic so those are the important points that you should remember when your car has been into a flooded street or a region so in order to make sure the long life of your car make sure to keep an eye out on these points because some of the points as i mentioned before may take a while to crop up and it may be down the line in future when these these problems may start happening with your car so it is better to get them checked before they happen anyways i hope you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you've liked this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here anyways until we meet next time bye bye